good game in the AFC West. Really intriguing game, actually. Chargers and Broncos. Um, this line kind of sitting three most of the week. I think it opened two and a half, but again, that's a very soft three um, with Denver. I would call it 2.75. Of course, Denver's coming off that big win over the Raiders. Um, we were on the Raiders last week. Didn't work out for us. Um, Vegas turned it over way too many times. Denver won 34-18. They covered as a slight favorite. Chargers off the bye. We talked about that, right? Teams coming off the bye, coming off of a loss. They lost to the Chiefs 17-10 two weeks ago. Depending on what side of the number you caught there with the Herbert news, you might have covered, you might not have covered. Um, but for the most part, that landed right on the number. Should have a healthier Justin Herbert this game. I think, guys, that explains the move to three. But, Chris, you don't care. You think Denver uh, catching the full three there is a pretty decent bet. This line is moving right now. Grab oh, that wow. three what do we is got? my recommendation. So uh, I, I like Denver a Go. lot in this game. Go. We are betting Denver plus oh, three. Boy. Go. <laughs> Go. 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 I got to bet it in right now. Well, I, I already did that earlier, but I, I really like Denver in this situation. I, I think the Chargers – are getting way too much respect in the marketplace. I, I don't know what the hell they have done to to garner the the respect and the confidence that people have in them. Are you kidding me? What business did they belong? Lane three on the road in Denver. Denver is one of the top defensive teams in the nation or in the in the, in the NFL. The, in fact, I have them at number one at the moment. Wow. So the Chargers have no offense. How are they going to get separation from Denver? I like Denver in uh, – I, I don't have a teaser prepared for the show, but I like Denver uh, in a 10-point teaser. If you can find a three, I like them up to the 10. Uh, uh, I, that's all I can say. I think that both teams are well – it's not that I hate the Chargers or anything. I think the Chargers are okay. They haven't played enough uh, – they haven't played enough quality football to really judge them, and they still have a lot of the injury issues. All probably is going to be back, and uh, Herbert is probably healthier, but they're not that good of a team yet. They, they have a road ahead of them. So I'm going to give you two alternative methods. I, too, am on the Broncos plus three, explaining why the money is pouring in on Denver. And by the way, I this is, this is rare. I gave this out to my clients. This was an early release. And the number didn't budge, which is very wow. unusual. But let me give you two handicaps that both are going to land you on Denver. All right. The first handicap, let me ask both of our panel here. What do you think the summer line was on this game back in July or pick August? Em. Pick them. I hear pick them. Chris, what would you think this line was? Oh, uh, Denver won. Yeah. yeah. It turns out the Chargers were minus three back wow. in the summertime. So really? think about this. It's right here. I've got my I got my Westgate wow. line. It's it's right no, I here. I believe you. That just shocks me because the look ahead was one and a half. Because well, when you think about it, the Chargers were supposed to win like eight and a half games, and Denver was supposed to win uh, five and a half. Okay, so the sure. Chargers were perceived to be much much better, and because of that, Chargers were minus three in the road. So since then, what have we seen? We have seen the Chargers worse than we thought they would be. And we've seen Denver not just being better, but right there with Minnesota and Washington, I would say Denver is the number three upgraded team in the NFL. All right? So if Denver's better than we thought and the Chargers are worse, how the heck can this line still be three? No Let me idea. give you a second way to handicap this game. I like to sometimes move the point spread, three points in each direction, and say, would that spread in any universe make sense? And I would say Chargers at Denver pick them. Yeah. Yeah. If I asked some people who they liked, I think, you know, yeah, more people would like the Chargers, but there would be some people that say, I think Denver can win. But if I made this game six, there is not anyone on, on the planet Earth that is going to say, oh, the Chargers minus six is a good bet here. I mean, the Chargers were just catching seven against Kansas City in a parody filled year. And now they're laying six. That's that's ludicrous. So because of that, that means three is too high. We're on Denver plus three. Yeah, I'll give you some nuggets here on your ratings, Fez. After week two, when the Chargers blew out the Panthers and the Broncos were still kind of struggling, you had Denver as a minus five and a half and you had the Chargers as a plus one and a half. And since then, the Broncos now are a minus one and a half and the Chargers are a minus a half. 
So you've seen a, a four-point bump in Denver over the last three weeks and a two-point downgrade over the Chargers. So I'm not even sure the Chargers are better than Denver. I mean, they're in the same I, category. I agree, but it looks, like you're kind of, it looks like Denver's kind of been swinging through this pendulum, and we feel pretty positively about the Broncos right now. Anything more to add on this game? No? I'm betting the under. That's where I'm at with this game. Here's why. Derwin James is back for the Chargers this week. So is Joey Bosa. We saw some chatter about Joe Alt. He probably will play, has a chance to play through the MCL. Rashawn Slater still out another week. So I would say of the two stud tackles the Chargers have, you've got about a half of them. Maybe Joe Alt, no Rashawn Slater. Mike McGlinchey, right tackle for Denver, still out. Um, their linebackers are kind of going through some things, but Chris has them as the number one defense perhaps in the NFL. And this Chargers team loves to run the ball. They love to play slow, run the ball, and play defense. And I'm getting about a half-point discount here market-wide. Bet US has 36. The rest of the market, 35 and a half. I know that's probably not a key number, but when the total's that low, I'll take every half-point I can get. Under 36 for me. Denver plus three for the panelists, Steve and Chris. All I'm right, move very on. close to exciting with you on that, but I, I I like that too. Okay. Chris likes the under as well. He's not playing it. But it's but not an official dance. play, but I do like it. I would say I'll bury the lead here or else I'll give you a teaser. This is probably my favorite child of the week, the under. I, I had under week one with the Chargers. They are a stone-cold under team. And when Derwin James is back on the field, along with Joey Bosa, it feels like uh, under vibes for this Denver offense that just refuses to throw the ball deep. Again, Chargers offense run heavy. They don't really do much explosive plays. They are absolutely an under team. 